All right, so today I'm doing a rear wiper delete. Um, so far, just to get to this point, um, all you gotta do is pop off this plastic cap. Um, I used uh, this tool here, but um, you might be able to pull it off by hand, but this is just, you know, any kind of trim removal tool because it's plastic, you don't wanna break it uh, by using a screwdriver. Um, this here is just a two jaw puller. Um, they make wiper removal tools, but um, this is multi-purpose. So in order to make the two jaw puller work, I just threw a socket in there because this actually has a point and also removed the spout from inside the, uh, from underneath there. Um, this is the sprayer for the washer fluid. And to get to that point, all you gotta do is remove this 13 millimeter bolt after you take off that cap. Um, one more thing I decided to do that um, you don't see many people talk about is uh, up front. So since I've been doing a lot of work on the car, I already had the bumper off, so this was a pretty good time to figure it out. Um, if you look down there, on the inside piece right here is the, uh, the wiper uh, uh, pump for the fluid, the uh, washer pump fluid, or washer fluid pump, sorry. <laughs> and you can see I have it blocked off with a little red um, it's actually like a vacuum cap nipple. Um, I will zip tie that off. Uh, I just got finished figuring out which one went to the rear. Um, this is just so I'm not spraying fluid on accident, you know, when I hit my wipers. Because uh, I'm sure you guys have all hit the wipers and accidentally turned the rear one on. So um, this will make sure that I don't end up spraying a bunch of fluid inside my hatch. Um, and I, I've, I haven't seen anybody do that on any of their videos, so I figured I'd show you which one it is. There it is, inside one. So you got the two pumps. That one's for the uh, headlight washers, and that one's for the windshield washers, and it's the inside connection. And all it is to get that off is this little, this little uh, clip here. And you uh, pop that off, and it just, and then this piece will just pop right off here. So. Now the uh, rear wipers are just, or the rear wiper fluid is not going to spray anymore. And there's a zip tie I will be using to uh, make sure that that doesn't pop off too. Um, so back over here, all I have to do now is uh, tighten this up, and this will pull off the blade, and then I'll be moving on to the next step. Um, another thing I did was spray a little bit of penetrating lubricant on the threads on inside and back, so it'll give it some, uh, it'll come off a little easier. So let me just get that popped off and I'll get to the next step. All right, so now you can see it's popped off and just gotta wiggle it off. So you get a real big pow. Oops, well, there it goes. It's a good thing I don't want it anymore. So now you're here, you're gonna be left with this. Um, now you gotta, go on to the inside of the hatch so open that up Oops, what fell what fell who almost lost my nipple don't put things in stupid places all right, all right so with that said or with that done um this is where we're going um so you're gonna have these over here, you know, be popping these off because this whole panel has to come down. Um, I haven't actually pulled this off yet. This actually does need replacing. Um, it is a hatch. It was a daily driver, so it does have, you know, the scratches and marks of a, a 12, 13-year-old car. So give me one second to look at it, and I'll tell you exactly how it comes off in a couple seconds. Okay, so upon real quick inspection, um, you got a screw there. Um, and a screw in there. Those are the, uh, pockets on the back of the hatch. Um, I don't think you actually do. I don't think these actually need to get pulled off. All the videos I was watching said that they do, but I don't see why. Maybe for a grip or something. But I will be using some pretty basic tools. Um, you got a screwdriver, obviously. Um, yours might be a Torx. In that case, it would probably be a T20. Mine happens to be a Phillips. I got 
this screwdriver in case any of them are hard uh, to come off plus um, the trim tool and also this um, which is just another type of uh, panel remover tool um, chances are I, I probably won't need most of them I, I, I'm guessing it'll just pull right off so if I have I wish I had somebody to actually videotape me doing this but so what I'm gonna do is grab here and just pull down after I remove those screws. Same thing there, and try to get some grips up in there, maybe using the trim tool to get in there and get my finger grips. So that's what I'll be doing to take that off. And again, give me one second to pull it down. All right, so here it is off. Um, just like I suspected, it was only the two bolts um, or the two screws holding it in place. Uh, just so you know, it took actually a lot more force than I anticipated to pull this off. Um, one thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you have all of your uh, clips where they need to be. Um, it appears that all of mine actually came off with the, um, with the panel. Um, you also have at the very top these pieces right here, um, these plastic uh, clips like this one here and here and here on both sides actually slip or no it's actually just this one I'm sorry this one here slips into that upper U panel on both sides so um, when you're just pulling it down be careful I mean you do have to give it some some extra strength but um just try try not to shatter it because I can definitely see it breaking for a lot of people um, cold weather days is probably not the best time to do this unless you're inside like me um, I mean plastic shatters on cold days so at this point we're almost done um, we've just got three bolts holding up the motor so we're gonna just take this clip off here it's a push pull right there on the motor so what that means you push in pull the tab and then pull it off so that's all that is push pull Sounded like it broke, but it didn't. <laughs> um, and it appears that those are 10 millimeter. Uh, so one more pause and I'll show you what happens after this. So with those three 10 millimeters removed, there is also this clip here. Um, same thing as the uh, um, clip that goes to the front. So this just pops off and then it's gonna drip actually so let me uh this will just slide off um, you could turn it a little bit to get it to how you need it so this is gonna slide off um, I'm gonna have to turn off the phone again because it's gonna be dripping and I don't want to get it all inside my hatch so you'll pop that pop the pop the uh, line off and then this will just drop down um, and after that we'll go to installing the the delete all right, and that's what you're left with. Um, what I'm going to do is zip tie. Here, let me put this down. Can you still see? Yeah. I'm going to zip tie these, um, I guess, kind of out of the way, I guess. Uh, maybe back on itself like this. Um, or, or just even tuck it in like that. Zip tie that up there and probably just do the same like that with this one here. Just, just to keep them secure. Um, and after the after you pop that down, so yeah, that just that uh, windshield motor here, wiper motor. Now it's out, and so the delete is pretty simple. Um, besides, you know, I mean, getting to this point, you know, just be careful not to break anything. But uh, let me find the uh, wiper delete so I can delete the wiper. All right, so I'm back on track here. Here's the wiper delete, um, bought it through ECS. Um, there's a couple other ones out there, but uh, they're kind of cheesy. So this was the, these are the nicest ones I've seen. They don't actually put their logo on this one, which for once I actually agree with. Um, I don't mind having logos on the car, but um, I think this one, they did, they did a good job not putting it on this one. So this one being from ECS, um, you know it's gonna be quality. Um, so you can see I've tied up the uh, clip 
out of the way right there and also with that uh just make sure whenever you tie it up you're gonna have to make sure you avoid those slots because that's where your uh your um panel is going to be mounted back into um if there is any problems with those positioning the positioning of those wires um i'll let you know at the end if i don't say anything about them that means they're fine um and you could tie them up just like that so that they're not dangling um so the next step is going to be closing up the hatch. So let me get my wires and stuff out of the way. Ugh. And this panel. Don't fall. Good. Okay, so now you come back to the top and you're left with just this little rubber grommet here that'll just apparently should just come out from all the yep there you go and um and you got a little bit of dirt to clean up so fortunately i had a little bit of washer fluid drip onto my microfiber towel um and i'll just use that to clean it up it looks like i'm gonna need a little bit more so all I'm going to do is clean that up and then I'll show you the install. Okay, so this is what you get with the wiper delete. Um, you get the wiper delete, which is right there. This rubber washer, which goes on the inside. This metal washer and then the uh, 13 millimeter bolt. Um, on, this, on the uh, delete plug, there is actually a, uh, an O-ring that you can see right there. So you got to make sure that that's set while you're putting it on or else you you will you'll, you'll get leaks so while you're putting this on just make sure that that's sitting flush as it gets put into the hole on the windshield or on the on the window so something i just came across with the um the rubber grommet that they get for the inside um appears to be butting up against the uh metal of the uh hatch so what I'm going to do is um, just try to get it up there as snug as possible, but I can't show you what I'm doing as and hold the camera at the same time. So I will let you know what I did after I get it done. Uh, I just thought I'd show you that I have noticed that that piece there is hitting right there before it's flush. So um, I'm pretty sure that the... Uh, uh, the, the rubber o-ring on the outside will be okay and that'll just kind of snug it up but um it's gonna take some it's gonna take both hands to do this so there it is and there it is so um just kind of like fiddled with it so i would push it on this side so it would uh seal um i said it was a 13 mil it's actually a 15 millimeter apologize um and putting it back together is just the opposite so all i'm going to do is is uh, clip the uh, the panel back in back in back in place and uh, call it a day. Um, there's gonna be finger smudges, but there it is. There's the wiper delete. Looks pretty clean, doesn't it? I have to clean the window up. I'll get a picture or something. But there you go. Windshield wiper delete, along with blocking off the uh, washer fluid from entering your hatch on accident. So that's the install. Take it easy and I'll see you next time.